In many parts of the Atlantic provinces, the 60s bring on hard times. The economy is weak, unemployment high and rising. Many young people must choose between idleness and exile. Belle Island is the third largest city in Newfoundland. It's a one industry town. 12,000 residents depend on the iron mine, which has been operating for more than 60 years. Margaret Hines grows up there. My dad worked in the mines for years. Our life centered around the ironworks. That's where the work was. And as a child, my strongest memory is of the color of the iron ore. It's red, you see. And day after day, my mother would say, Oh, no, I hate to put the sheets out on the line. There's a wind. It was always windy. And the dust would get everything red. Then in 1966, the mine closes and the city begins to die. And fishing wasn't doing well either, and everyone knew, you just knew that unless you were a professional teacher or a nurse or a doctor, there was no future for you in Newfoundland. It's a beautiful, beautiful island. It's not right. Margaret has a boyfriend, Hubert Butler, the 11th in a family of 12 children. I met him when I was still in high school, and we started dating. Then when he was 19, he decided to go to Ontario. It was a huge step because he'd never been away from home. Hubert first lands in the big city, Toronto. It's a strange feeling for a kid who comes from a place where everyone knows each other. Arriving at Toronto, looking at those buildings, you know, until you couldn't turn your neck any further. Me and me buddy Sweeney, both of us were very naive, didn't really have a clue what we were up against, and really thinking that the world was one big family. And we realized really fast that, you know, this isn't going to be quite as easy as you think, Spucko. But it is easy. Within a month, Hubert gets a job at the Ford plant in Windsor. The new auto pact with the United States is creating thousands of jobs. 90% of them are in southern Ontario. For the first time in history, Canada is exporting more cars than it's importing. Windsor's population grows by 50,000 in five years. Young men like Hubert Butler earn as much as an American auto worker. A few months later, he goes back to Belle Island to see Margaret. I could see the change in him, even in his clothing. And the hair was a little longer, a little fuller. And even some of the accent had rubbed off. But you could tell he was really enjoying himself. Hubert asks Margaret to come with him to Ontario. I knew that I had to decide, either go to Ontario or cut off the relationship. So I decided to go. I'd never been farther than St. John's, and I was so scared. And the thing that struck me first, as soon as I came out of the door to plane, was the air. In Newfoundland, the air's fresh, there's always a breeze. It was completely different, like being in a foreign land. They get married and honeymoon in Niagara Falls. Hubert and Margaret Butler will never go back to work in Newfoundland. Five of Hubert's 11 brothers and sisters and all of Margaret's siblings will also leave Newfoundland to settle in other parts of Canada. You must realize as a Newfoundlander when you are raising your kid that there's a good chance he's going to have to move to some part of Canada or the United States to get a job. Between 1956 and 1973, almost one million people leave the Atlantic provinces. <laughs> 